how can you reduce inheritance tax if you leave your super to your children? <laughs> Bit of an open-ended question there, but what, what, yeah. what would you um, guide? How would you guide Ross here? Yeah, look, and this is, this is something that, that we, we all want to know, right? We want to make sure that if we leave money to our kids that they don't get hit with tax on that money. Um, look, the easiest way to do is pull your money out of super and then invest it in your own name. Uh, because then you don't have that issue, do you? Because it's not in super. Please don't do that, Ross. I'm just saying that's, a, that's the easiest way of doing it. But if you, do sure. that, if you do that, of course, you're going to be paying tax at your marginal rates versus the funds, um, zero or 15% rate. Look, the, the, the real way or the most common way that we reduce inheritance tax is by utilising a, uh, a strategy called the re-contribution strategy. Um, Janine wrote an article about that this April. So if you go onto the Supergold website, there's a good article on it from April this year. But there's also a case study that's been put up on the website as well uh, last year, which I think Akash might have written uh, from memory, Rob. Um, so it's a, there's a yep. case study there as well. What it, what it is, uh, what is the recontribution strategy is essentially Garth withdraws money from his super fund when I make that withdrawal, it's got to come from both my taxable and tax-free component. If I'm over 60, I don't pay any tax on it. It's tax-free to me. I then take an amount of that money and I re-contribute it back to super as a non-concessional contribution. So that non-concessional contribution forms part of the tax-free component, which means my kids don't pay any tax because it's the tax-free component. Your children only pay tax on the taxable component of your super, and it's a, it's at a 15% rate plus Medicare. So it could be 17, around circa 17% of the taxable component. So to get around that, we withdraw money uh, tax-free if over 60, and we recontribute that money back into super as non-concessional. So it increases the tax-free part of what's left to our kids. Um, that's the, the re-contribution strategy. Of course, all of this needs to be done well in advance of, of our departure from this world. Uh, we need to plan for these things uh, well in advance. But essentially, the re-contribution strategy is the one that would uh, most often be used here.